Something that's uh, not that well known is the fact that event listeners actually have a built-in handle event method. So this means that we can create one function that handles all the events that are happening to an object and just kind of sift through based on the type to do different things. All right, so real example here. I have a variable here called obj. It's an object inside of which I've got two functions, one called init, one called something. Inside my init, I'm doing my initial setup. So I'm looking for the button right here, my button with the ID BTN, and I'm adding two event listeners to that button. Click and focus. Now here's where it gets a little bit different. Instead of putting the name of a function, I'm putting in this. So I'm calling obj.init, so I'm calling this function here to get the whole thing started, and I'm saying that this object right here, this, is what is going to handle those events. All right, so we have this pointing to obj, and what we need to do is inside of obj, we need to create something to handle all the events. And that happens to be a function called handle event, just like this. So we are creating a function called handle event, make sure with the comma there, just like any other function inside of here, but this name is a special name. This name, having handle event, means that every single function that is passed to the object defined by this, this one right here, every event happening to this is going to be passed through this handle event function without me having to do anything else. I'm just putting this beside every one. I can list off as many events as I want. All of them are going to be passed through this function. So we do a switch case statement, say I'm looking at the type of the event. Inside here I'll create a case for click, do something inside there, then we'll create a case for let's say focus, and we can continue doing this for every single one of the events that we want to handle. So they can be built-in ones, they can be things that we create, they can be custom events, so all of them, just like this, one function, handling all of them, and then we're just kind of redirecting them throughout. So when click happens, what I want to do is I want to call this dot something. When focus happens, I'm going to call this dot something. Now in this case, it's just my function something. This could be two different functions. And if I want to pass the event on, well, I've got it right here, EV. So this could be ev.type that I'm passing along. This could be ev, the object that I'm passing along. I'm going to, in my example, pass along the whole thing, ev. Down here, I will create a variable to receive this, and then I'm going to write something out. So the button was clicked or focused. So let's run this in the browser and see what we get. I need to bring up the console so I can actually see this. Click the button. There we are. Button was focused, button was clicked. So both of those things are happening because I am actually clicking. But click away, now it's blurred, now it's focused and clicked. Click away, it's blurred and like that. So we could add another one for blur if we wanted. Oops, that's not what I want. There we go. So we'll add blur blur this dot something is going to be called as well. Refresh my page. I click, focused, clicked, click away, it's blurred, click again, focused and clicked. And that's all there is to it. This function is built in. It is there as part of the whole event listener uh, object model. You create an object, Inside of it, you add event listeners, you use, uh, even this could even be outside, as long as you are making reference to obj. So I'd replace this with obj if I put this code somewhere else in my file. But handle event, it's going to understand that if obj handle event, it's going to call this one. And this handle event is going to handle all of my events.
So it makes more sense to bundle this all together so you're talking about this everywhere, but that's all there is to it. Using this function, you can handle all the events for your object. All right, I hope that made sense. As always, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments.